So in this Carpenter leveling guide, I want to discuss a quick way to get up to 50 as Carpenter in Final Fantasy XIV. I recently did this myself, and I did that just to get this Fire God's Blessing ability. I really don't want to use Carpentry too much. I'm sure I might be able to gear out the class eventually and make some gill with it, but regardless, you need 50 to get this skill. It's so good, and it really helps make making high-quality items much easier. So in this video, we're just going to discuss some simple ways to level up. First thing I want to discuss is some tips. You're going to want to use food. It gives you 3% bonus experience points. You want something that either boosts control or craftsmanship. I picked Roll Oyster because extra control bonus, but and it was cheap. That was the main reason, though. I mean, you can pick whatever. Don't spend too much gill. It's just not worth it. So the most important thing to do for gear is main hand and off hand. They provide by far the most stats. After that, you want a good chest piece. The rest of the equipment doesn't matter. Don't even worry about keeping the other stuff up to date while leveling. Because if you're following the guide, you're using your leaves. Read if you're just grinding crafts, you'll just you'll blow through the levels so quickly that you shouldn't upgrade your other slots more than once every 15 levels or so. It's just not worth the time investment or the gill. And finally, at your early levels, you're going to want to pick up the Engineering Manual Level 2 from the Quartermaster of your Grand Company. So if you're in the, the Twin Adders, it would be at the Adder's Nest. And you can buy that from the Quartermaster. It's like two or 3,000 2, seals, and it gives you... 50% bonus experience points up to 40,000 total experience. It's kind of a waste once you hit about level 30, but a single uh, manual will last you from 1 to 15. And then a couple more will get you all the way up to level 25 to 30. So it really speeds up the early levels, which is nice. And the early levels leaves are a waste of time, so and leave allowances. So it's, it's really nice to have this. It really saves you a lot of time. So once you hit level 20, you can unlock repeatable leaves. I'd recommend trying to hold off until level 30 if you can, just because you only have so many leave allowances, and if you burn them up all at level 20, you're not going to be able to get to 50 in decent time. If you want to level all the way up to 50 off of just leaves, it's going to take you anywhere from a couple weeks. It's going to take you about a couple weeks. And if, if you make it to 30 first, so before you start using leaves, you can make it in a week or two. I mean, you'll literally save so many leaves by just doing a little bit of grinding. And what we're looking for in particular is these repeatable leaves. They are the ones that require more than one ingredient. So you can see here, five lengths of mahogany lumber. So, you turn the leaf in. I'm going to keep talking as you go, as I run over to the NPC. You accept it, and run up to the NPC, which is up here, and then you can turn it in. So there's actually two places to get repeatable leaves. One is at the Adventurer's Guild, wherever your craft's actual headquarters is, Verdania for Carpenter. But whatever your class is, it would be there. So when you have a repeatable leave, you turn it in, you get your reward, and then they say, do you want to turn in more items? You can select, select yes, and if you have enough items, you can turn it in again multiple times. So each time you turn it in, you get the full reward. So you always want to use the repeatable leaves just because they offer you three total rewards for basically the price of one leave of allowance. And if you turn in high quality items, you also get some bonus experience points, up to 200%, which basically triples the reward. So you can really get a lot of experience points out of very few leaves if you use repeatable leaves and turn in high quality items. So what I wanted to say also is that not only can you get repeatable leaves outside uh, or in Gridania, but you can also get them at a random leveling camp. So in particular, Quarry Mill has the level 20 and 25 repeatable leaves. Costa del Sol has a level 30. Um, and there's actually no etherite, but in Corthus, the Observatorium has level 35. Wiperim has 40. And finally, in Mordana, let me pull up the map here and make it a little bit clearer. So South Trail, Quarry Mill's got 20 and 25. And then for Costa del Sol, it's going to be in Eastern Lanusia, right down here. And then we're going to go up to Corthos for 35 and 40. Observatorium has 35. Whiteburn has 40. And then finally... Mordana at the um, 
St. Coinex find has level 45 leaves. So because there's both leaves in Gardenia and at those camps, you can usually pick between whichever one is the best. So at level 20, the Gardenia, le the Gardenia quest has us make ash masks, which are generally the best bet here because the other option is going to be the Iron Lance, that's going to be, or the Iron Spear, I'm sorry, which is going to be at Quarry Mill. And you'll have to buy Iron Ingots, which are tend to be a little, and Elm Lumber, which both are more expensive than Ash Lumber, which is cheap. Clove Oils off the Guild Supplier, or Leathers off the Guild Supplier. If this isn't, I think this is at the Leather Workers Guild, but if it's not, you can get it at the Armorsmiths Guild for sure in, what is that, um, the town where Lonosi is, Limsa Lominsa, that's it. And then Lop Lapis Lazuli is really cheap off the auction house. So this is a really cheap recipe compared to the Iron Spear, so just keep that in mind. So like the Gradenio one for level 20, and when you hit level 25, you have two options. You can either turn in five lengths of walnut lumber, or you can turn in U crooks. And generally, U crooks are at Quarry Mill, whereas the walnut lumber is at Gordania. So the trick here is that U crooks tend to be cheaper in terms of U lumber, and Beast and Blood is pretty cheap compared to a, the five pieces of walnut lumber you have to churn in. The only thing is, if you just have a ton of leaves saved up, a trick you can use is just to buy the lumber already cut. So we'll check out the market prices right now. Because if you can just buy a stack of 99 lumber, you can just turn that in and just power from 25 to 30 in a couple minutes. Not even have to craft anything. Let's see. I think walnut lumber is usually somewhat expensive. Yeah, it's a little expensive, but if you want to drop 20 or 40k gill, you probably need two stacks to get through all the levels. So you can drop 40k gill and then power from 25 to 30 in literally 5 or 10 minutes. You don't have to stop the craft. You just run back and forth from the leave mate to the quest turn in. So that's an option too. Whereas the quarry mill version with the U crooks will save you some gill if that's what you're worried about. So level 30, you have two options. You can either do Steel Spears in Gridania, or you can do, this is the Gridania one, or you can do the Steel Halberd in Costa del Sol. I actually like the Steel Halberd, even though it has more ingredients. It's just Walnut Lumber, Algoat Leather, Steel, and Iron Ingot. Whereas this requires Crab Oil. Crab Oil is expensive, so it's just hard to get. It's hard to get in large quantities. This is just a really pain item to make. And you might even want to, if you have a, a large number of leaves and a limited number of time, you can actually just stick to the walnut lumber and use that all the way to 35 if you want. I mean, it'll start to slow down a bit, but if you have a lot of leaves, it's not a bad use of money. So, once you hit level 35, you got a couple options here. The one for Gridania, the quest is actually bugged, and the item that you turn in is the walnut malcutty. Or, I don't even know how you say that, I'm not going to, I always just say Malcutty in my head, but obviously that's not right, because there's not an L before the C, and the whole end just doesn't fit. But regardless, it only requires Wyvern, Obsidian, and a Walnut Lumber. Walnut Lumber, as we've already established, is about 200 gil apiece. Wyvern Obsidian is practically free, it's so cheap on the auction house. Whereas, the Observatorium Quest wants to this stuff. These soon is cheap, but Steel Ingots and at Oak Branch usually are not. So I mean, they're both good options here. If you can get Oak Branches really cheap and Steel and Gods really cheap, this can work. If not, the, um, the Walnut Sword here is the best option. So that's an Observatorium and Gridania, or Observatorium and Korthos and Gridania. The one that I like, the Walnut Sword, is in Gridania. So level 40, there's really not a lot of great items here that I like. You have to either choose between the Mahogany Spinning Wheel, that's Gridania, or the Mithril Lance. I generally think that this is not a good item to do because Mithril Rivets are kind of expensive. Whereas Mithril, mithril Ingots are about 200 gil apiece, Spore Leathers about 200 or 300 gil apiece, 
oak lumber is not that expensive either. This whole synthesis costs about a thousand gil, whereas this one costs about twelve to thirteen hundred gil. And I like this one too because the quest NPC that you turn the items into is so close to the leave me, you barely have to move. And that makes obviously speeds up the leveling process. So from 45 to 50, you get an easy one, 5 mahogany lumbar, uh, lumber, that's in Gridania. Just buy the mahogany lumbar, lumber already cut if you are worried about that. So that's how you go from 1 to 50, and all those repeatable leaves will be mentioned in the description and the link. So you don't have to, if you didn't hear that or didn't follow that, you can just read the quick, the quick um, list in the description. So I also want to discuss what to do if you wanted to grind. I would recommend grinding a good bit. So from levels 1 to 7, you're first going to make maple lumbar. I always say lumbar, thinking of biology, lumbar spine. But maple lumbar, you can get these maple logs right off the guild supplier. They're cheap. Make those all the way to level 7. And the reason you're going to do that is because you're going to take this recipe to 10. You're going to use the maple lumbar you already made buy beastkin blood off of the vendor and you can take that all the way to level 10 level 10 we can make ash lumber you can buy the ash log off the guild supplier as well take that all the way to level 14 so at 14 you're just going to make ash ash mask and say that three times fast you can buy leather and fish oil off the guild vendor we've already made the ash lumber so that's pretty easy there and then from 17 to 21, we're going to make elm lumber. We need to save this up because we need it quite a bit later. So once you make that, we're going to head over to the elm crook. Where's that? Uh, and some leftover supplies. That might be back here. Elm crook. Okay. So beast skin blood, as we've established already, is off the guild vendor. So... It's actually going down a level, and that's fine. We're just if you maximize the quality, you'll get some good experience there. You can take that all the way up to level 24, or even cut it at 23, and then switch over to Elm Patents. It just depends on the price you can get these items at. Um, if you want to save some money, you can buy undyed cotton cloth off of the vendor in Limsa Liminsa. He's basically his name is really hard to pronounce, but I'm going to show you where he is on the map. So if you're in Limsa Minsa and you go into the upper decks, he's one of these two vendors. And he sells cotton cloth for like 50 gil apiece. It's very cheap compared to the auction house typically. So you can do that from, we'll say, 23 to 25. And that will, um, that's nice as well. So then once you hit 25, we're going to switch over to Walnut Lumber. Take that all the way to 29 will cost a little bit of gill, but that's not too bad. And then once you hit 29, you can either switch over to Walnut Cane. If you can get Growth Formula Beta, usually it's like two or 300 gill a piece versus this, the item, the Elm Sword here. It really depends on how cheap you can get Obsidian and Elm Lumber versus the, one, the Growth Formula Beta. So just check the auction house prices. If the um, cost of a Elm Lumber is more than walnut lumber, this is generally the better bet. If obsidian is very cheap, this is generally the better bet. If you can get some cheap growth formula beta, this is a good option too. I mean, they're both fine. They're both about the same. This depends on the prices you can get everything. So if you use, and it also depends on what you have left over. You can start with, if you have elm lumber left over, so you can start with this one and then switch over to the walnut cane at the last minute once you already are leveled up. So then as soon as you hit 32 off of those items, we're going to make this sword, and we're just going to make it all the way to 37. I mean, if you make it just to 35, you can then turn it in for leave rewards all the way up to 40. But if not, you can just keep crafting it. You can actually sell these on the market boards because people that want to do the quest turn in, rather than synthing these themselves... We'll just buy a bunch of swords off the market board and then turn them in, especially high quality ones. Okay, so next, Mahogany Lumber. Take this all the way from 37 to 43, which you can save up just so that when you hit 45, 
you can churn in these for the quest rewards and take that all the way to 50. If you power off of these, you'll have all the lumber you need to get all the way to 50. Um, if you want to sell grinds once you hit 43 and don't want to do leaves, you can make a rose with lumber from 43 to 50. It's kind of expensive just because it requires a lot of shards. The logs are cheap, but this is like two or 300 gil worth of shards of synth, 50 or 60 gil worth of logs. I mean, those logs don't really, aren't typically worth much. But, I mean, actually, in the end, that's not too bad of a price. It's only like 300 gil per craft, but you'll just need about 100 or 200 crafts. You'll need about 100 crafts per level across 7 levels. That's 700 crafts times 300 gil. It's like 20, what is that, 20, 30 or 40k wasted. That math doesn't sound right, but 3 times 7 should theoretically be 21. And they are 100 and 100. It should be 21,000. That's actually not... You said 210,000. It's a very good question. I'm going to pull up the calculator. It's late at night right now. So 700 times 300 is going to be... Yeah, 210,000 gil. That's what I thought. That's what I, I knew when I wrote that. I was like, it's, it's too expensive. So unless you want to drop 200k gil, don't grind those levels. Okay, and that's about it for really the Carpenter Leveling Guide. Once you get up to level 50, you get this nice sweet skill, and you can equip it to your other crafts, or you can do some carpentry if you want. But that's it for this guide. Sell a little bit more items as we go, and I will see you in the next one.